Now let's go to the track and look for other players so we can start interfering with them. Let's wait until she starts coming here and start stopping her. Oh, it looks like she managed without us. The yellow wax crayon is chasing right after us. Oh look, our character did a somersault. Oh my god, an angry red wax pencil is running after us. We've reached mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on guys, about three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello everyone friends, and today we will run away from the house of the evil crayon. These guys are hunting us. Oh look. For some reason, this girl is lying here. Okay, okay, let's not pay attention to her. Let's just go through this task. There is not just ventilation here, but a real labyrinth. Wow, look, we fell out of the ventilation. Some kind of lava obby is waiting for us ahead. It's strange that cardboard boxes and various wooden things float in lava. They were supposed to burn. Okay, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that we passed this obby, and now we move on. Let's see what awaits us ahead. Okay, this is a room with various wax crayons. Now we need to climb into this ventilation and find a way out of it. It seems to me that there are a lot of ventilation in this game. This is already the second ventilation we have entered. I wonder if there will be some kind of ventilation here in which there will be a giant labyrinth. Wait, can you hear those footsteps? Oh my God, an angry red wax pencil is running after us but we managed to escape from him and he couldn't catch us. Great. Now let's walk across this bridge catcher with wax crayons. These wax crayons are so colorful and beautiful. I really like the way they look. Too bad they're dangerous. I'd like to take a closer look at them. Let's just cross this bridge and head to the next room. I'm very interested in what challenges await us next. Ventilation again? The creators of this game have a great love for ventilation. Well, this is looking more and more like a labyrinth. There are a lot of forks here. I hope we can find the right way out of here, because there are a lot of turns here. And here is the way out! It's cool that we managed not to get lost here even once. And now we're getting to the surface. Look, there is a very thin wooden bridge here. You need to be as careful as possible Bluey crossed this bridge with ease. She is truly a pro at walking on thin bridges. Now we need to get past this vent and... Oh my god, just look. I see vending. Will they really give us something that will change our speed? Is this an energy wax stick? Oh look, our character did a somersault. Is this an energy pencil run? Wow, I see this for the first time. This looks very cool. It's a lot like the energy drink run in Bar Prison Escape, but here it works a little differently. Wait! Have we really just crashed into these colored pencils? Okay. Unfortunately, the game did not have time to remove the improvement from the energy pencil. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Now we will pass this test without boost. Oh my god, just look at these red puddles. It looks like some pencil caught up with one of the players and killed him. I hope it's not blood. Wait, are these steps again? Oh my god. A blue wax pencil is running after us. He wants to kill us. Oh, we escaped from him. It was very easy. This guy is pretty slow. Now we're heading back to the ventilation. A test with lasers awaits us. I hope Bluey can pass this test on the first try. It's not that complicated. Bluey coped with even more difficult tasks. Only a few lasers left. Great, we completed this task. Wow, laser plates await us in the next room. Well, I think this task will also not be so difficult, because here it's enough just to jump across the free platforms diagonally. This task also turned out to be very easy for us. I see another interesting challenge ahead of us. There's a lot of lava down there. You need to be as careful as possible. Wow, here we need to arrange the platforms ourselves. This is very cool. Now we need to build a bridge over which we can cross this abyss with lava. I have never seen such interesting tasks in any game. Wow, we built a bridge and crossed this abyss. Now we need to choose the right path and Bluey managed to choose the right path the first time. I think it would be logical to choose the red platform this time. 
Yes, we have guessed the correct path again, and we are approaching the next room. We are about to descend into the ventilation again. I hope there are no huge labyrinths in this ventilation. We found a way out of here very quickly. I see a long corridor ahead. I think this means that a new wax pencil is coming. Yes, look, the yellow wax crayon is chasing right after us. But he is very slow. He won't be able to catch up with us. Cool, we managed to escape from him. Bye-bye, yellow wax pencil. Now we escape into this portal. Where will we end up? Oh my god. Is this the end of the game? Did we really finish it that quickly? I think we went through it too quickly. Let's take advantage of the boosts and try to start stopping other players from completing this game. I think we need to take the train and increase our speed to 150. Great. I think this option will suit us. Now let's go to the track and look for other players so we can start interfering with them. I found a bug with which we can get inside. To do this, we need to push ourselves through the textures using our trail. I need to make a little more effort to get inside the location. Great! We managed to get inside this location. Now let's start stopping these players from completing this game. Let's barricade this exit with our train so that these players cannot get inside this room. They somehow managed to get inside. Well, I'm not ready to give up. I will interfere with them until the last moment until they fall down. I think this is the best place to start disturbing them. Let's choose the most convenient position where we will block their path. I think this is a great place. Let's wait until she starts coming here and start stopping her. Oh, it looks like she managed without us. Well, it was quite a fun and interesting game, but it's a shame that it turned out to be so short. Now let's move on to the next game. Maybe it will be longer than this? This is just one of them. We need to run there. Oh no, Big Head caught us. This head is very gigantic. We need to get around it somehow. There is a head that has arms and legs. She looks pretty weird. There is a huge labyrinth with different heads. Look, there are three heads in a row. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the Big Head. Are we finally going to escape from prison? This is very cool. In fact, lately, I've been a little tired of these Barry prison escapes. Those big heads are so creepy. Oh, look! There's some kind of red staircase there. We probably need to climb up it. You're good at Bluey. Let's find a way out of here as soon as possible. The main thing is to avoid these giant heads. This is just one of them. We need to run there. Oh, no! Big Head caught us, so now we'll be more careful. Well, now we know how these big heads move, and now let's try to go through this again. This labyrinth is so big! Oh no, another giant head! She's chasing us! Let's quickly find a way out of here! I think we need to run to those red steps again. And here they are! Now the main thing is to overcome all these big heads and... Yes! We're back on those steps. Now you need to find the right path to the save point. It seems to me that we have chosen the right path, and now let's try not to get caught by these huge heads. We need to be as careful as possible. Giant head, we need to run it away. Oh look, I see steps. I think there should definitely be a save point there. This head is very gigantic. We need to get around it somehow. And it seems to me that the arrow is pointing us to the right path. You need to go down these steps and run there. Save point, great. Now we don't have to be afraid of losing. There are three heads there. The main thing now is to walk this path very carefully and not get caught by them. I ran past them like a real pro! I really like this game because you have to be constantly on your guard. These heads can always catch me. Red steps and save point again. Well, that was pretty easy. Now we need to climb these long stairs and get to the very top. We almost fell down here. It was quite dangerous. Cool! We've passed the first stage. Now we move on to the second. Here we need to be as careful as possible because here we need to choose the right door. I think we guessed the right door on the first try and now let's find a way out of here. Labyrinths with doors are very difficult because here a head can suddenly appear around the corner and attack you. You need to go through this entire location as carefully as possible and not rush too much. Perhaps this head is hidden in the passage we need and no look, there is a save in this room. This head looks very funny. Well, we need to run around it and run further. Let's quickly find the next save because it's quite dangerous here. Okay, let's run into this passage and... Yes, we found another save. Wow, some super long arrows. You need to be as careful as possible. Wow, this is quite difficult. 
Look, there is another arrow there, but it seems to me that this is a scam. We need to go into the corridor in which there is no arrow. This room definitely needs to have a save. Wow, this is great. In general, I really like the fact that there is a save here, because if they weren't there, we would have to go through all these locations again. It would be quite long and almost impossible. Yes, I completely agree. If there weren't saves here, we wouldn't be able to get through this. Okay, let's not walk on this long stick, but try to walk on these small platforms because the head can come on this board and kill us. But here it's better to walk along this long board because your head is now occupied with something else. Ow, she fell down. Well, I see a star ahead. Let's take it. This means that we are now moving to the third. In the third stage, there is a huge labyrinth with different heads. Well, I think we will be able to pass it the first time. We are already quite skilled and know how to get past them. Look, there are three heads in a row. I think we can run around them from the side. Great, we did it. Now let's run to those red steps. Look, there is a head that has arms and legs. She looks pretty weird. You managed to get through this quite easily. Ow! This head wants to catch us. Don't let her do this. Cool. We ran past it. Now let's quickly find a save point somewhere. We just found it. And now in front of us is a huge room with three black panels and a huge number of different heads. But we escaped from them quite easily. In general, it seems to me that this stage is one of the easiest because we have never died yet. Save point again. Great, now let's come through the colorful labyrinth. I hope that we will be able to run past all the giant heads and they won't catch us. So far, you're doing great. I hope that you will be able to pass this entire test without a single death. Cool, I see another save. Look, here is a room with a huge number of black panels. I hope that we can get through it without getting caught by any heads. I think this is the most difficult test in the entire stage. In any case, Bluey completed this task quite easily. And now we move on to stage number four. Cool. Let's get to it quickly. It's the mechanical robot cane. Wait, is she stuck? But no, she keeps running after us. But it's Zubal. Just look how detailed it is. I'm a huge fan of the amazing digital circus. Wait, did you say fan? What? Oh my God, who said that? Who is there? Hello everyone, friends. And today we will escape from the amazing digital circus. Wow, everything here is so colorful and beautiful. It really is a lot like an amazing digital circus. Well, let's see what tests they have prepared for us. I already love how they changed the digital look here. Everything here is so colorful and very similar to what we saw in their cartoon. I love it. I wonder who will be the first boss we will see. Let's quickly go down and see who will be here as the first boss. Was it just me or did Pomni pass there for a second? Oh, exactly. Look, that's her. She has such an evil face. Let's hurry up and get away from her as quickly as possible. They even changed this location. Just look. There are a lot of different objects here. It doesn't feel like a prison at all. Wait, is she stuck? But no, she keeps running after us. Well, let's take a look at her. She looks a lot like the real Pomni from the cartoon. Well, let's not stop here for long and run on. Here, instead of the usual obby, there is a spiral staircase to the top. This is a really cool change. Finally, the map creators are starting to change the obstacles in this game, and it is really becoming more diverse. Great, we're already at the top. As far as I remember, now we have to go into this ventilation and find ourselves in a room with toilets. Let's see where we end up. This is a toilet room. I hope they haven't changed the location of the tunnel booth. No, she stayed in the same place. That's cool. Wow, this dungeon looks like the Gloink Queen's nest. It really looks very cool. I really like this location. Well, let's get past this obby. It's too bad they didn't add the Gloink Queen. It would be very cool if there was a second boss here. I would be interested in how we would have to defeat him. Well, this obby was the same as everywhere else. Let's just move on to the rolling boulder tunnel. This Jax looks really badass. Well, let's not focus on it and move on. Look, there's some pink liquid down there. This looks really very strange. I don't think it's worth running forward. 
There will be a boulder that will knock us down. Let's better not try to use any life hacks here, but just go through this tunnel the same way we always go through it. Yes, we have nowhere to rush. We are champions in completing all types of Barry prison escapes. Well, let's go upstairs and see which boss will be next. Oh my god, it's Zubal. Just look how detailed it is. She really looks a lot like a cartoon character. The developers really tried very hard here. Now I need to be careful. I need to wait for her to enter this room and run around her so that she doesn't grab me. This is a very difficult task. You managed to make it bluey. I never doubted you for a second. Well, let's now climb this multicolored, dilapidated staircase straight to the top. We now have an energy drink race ahead of us. Oh yeah, now our favorite part of this game begins. I just love the energy drink run. If only we could somehow donate to this game and get super speed for the entire duration of this map. Just imagine how quickly we could get through it. Here, the entire location is decorated in the style of an amazing digital circus. Even all the platforms here are multicolored. Well, this is very cool. I really like the design of this game. I'm a huge fan of the amazing digital circus. Wait, did you say fan? What? Oh my god, who said that? Who is there? Guys, don't be scared. It's me, Pomni. I was just traveling through Discord servers and accidentally came across yours. Why didn't you make it private, by the way? I cannot believe it! Is that really you? Oh my god, how did you even end up here? Hello! I really love your cartoon. Guys, I also really like your cartoon. I watched it a lot when I was little. It's very cool that I was able to get onto your Discord server and chat with you. And we were very glad to hear from you. Thank you for joining us. By the way, we are now playing the game Escape from the Amazing Digital Circus. Oh, are you serious? This is very cool. We also recently played this game with the guys on our YouTube channel. You've seen the video, haven't you? Yes, our whole family watches all your videos on your channel. We just love the way you play games. I hope someday you will invite us to play with you. It would be amazing. Someday, we will definitely make a joint video with you on our YouTube channel and invite all the characters from our amazing digital circus. But for now, I have to switch off. It was great chatting with you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Pomni. It was nice talking to you. I hope to see you again. It was very unexpected and cool. I still can't believe that she actually joined our channel and talked to us. I'm a huge fan of her. Well, yes, I was also very pleasantly surprised. Let's now move on through this ventilation. Now we are waiting for a race with fans. Now we will run very fast again. I really like these two types of tasks in this game just because there is great speed. I would like to find some mode in which we will be allowed to completely go through the entire map at high speed. I'm very curious who will be the final boss in this game. I think it will be Kane. He is the most important one in the digital circus, which means he must be the main boss. But first, now we will find out who will be the boss cook in this game. I think it must be the bubble because he was in charge of food in the amazing digital circus. And the boss cook turned out to be Jax. I cannot believe this. Did they really decide to choose this particular character? Well, this is very cool. Wait, is he what's shooting at us and we're slowing down? I think this will be the most difficult boss of all. Wait, why are we causing him a lot of damage? Looks like I was too hasty with my conclusions that this post will be difficult. Yes, he slows us down, but we do a lot of damage to him. It was very easy, but he managed to do some damage to me. Well, now I need to slide down this slide and we'll go straight to the laser mission. Well, let's hurry up a little. We've already completed almost the entire game in 400 seconds. I really hope that we can finish this game in 550 seconds today. That would be pretty cool. This staircase always seems so endless to me. Why don't you just add an elevator here that would be activated with a button? And here's the task with lasers. Oh, just look. They changed their color. This laser is yellow and the next laser is purple. I love when the laser colors change in Barry's prison break. Well, all we have to do is go through these lasers and bridge tasks. I can't wait to see the final boss. I'm very interested in who he will be. Well, now we will complete this task with bridges with the help of our life hack. By the way, have you noticed that only 470 seconds have passed and we have already gone quite far? I think we can definitely set a record in this game. Now hurry up, Bluey. You need to quickly build bridges here and move on. I really want to see the final boss of this game. Last bridge left. 
Grab his bluey and let's finish this location as soon as possible. We're almost there! Great! Now I will build this bridge and enter this location. Oh my god. Just look. It's the mechanical robot Kane. By the way, he doesn't get bugs like other bosses. And he runs straight towards us. Here you will need to try a little more and avoid his shots so that he does not cause damage to us. Keep shooting in the arm, Bluey. You almost shot her. Oh, no. It hit us a few times and did some damage there. Well, it's not scary. The main thing is that we managed to shoot off his hand and now we need to aim at the second. We almost defeated him. Only a few shots left. Don't stop, Bluey. It was very difficult, but I beat him. He was even able to hit me a few times. Well, I really like this mode and will definitely play it again. Now let's move on to the next game. Oh no, seriously. Will he really stand in one place all this time? Your hits cause him a lot of damage. He climbed onto the railing. This guy really wants to catch up with us. Hello, my friend. I hope that you won't catch up with Hello, everyone, dear friends. And today you and I will escape from Dog Day Prison. Bluey, it seems to me that you forgot that we will also play together with you. Exactly. Sorry, I completely forgot. Today we, my family, and our subscribers will play Dog Day Prison Escape. That's better. Well, let's get started. I hope that today we will again set a new record for completing this map at speed. Yes, I hope so too. Well, we passed the first obby without any problems, and now we will meet the first boss of this game. We already know that it will be Dog Day. Well, let's press this button and quickly run up from him so that he doesn't catch up with us. I hear his footsteps right behind us. It seems to me that a little more and he will catch up with us. Let's take a look at it. He climbed onto the railing. This guy really wants to catch up with us. It's so good that we managed to escape from him. And now we need to cross this bridge. It doesn't look much like a bridge. It looks more like some kind of pipes, but nevertheless, Let's quickly run into this ventilation and find ourselves in a room with toilets. And here is the room with toilets. All the walls here are painted pink. I just love the color pink. I really love the decor of this room. And now we're in the Obby dungeon. Oh, this is the same Obby type of dungeon that has bridges and a bridge with puddles. I just love this type of dungeon because it's so much more interesting. Did they really make black puddles on the black bridge? But you can't see them at all. Well, we were still able to pass by them and not step on them even once. Now we can jump over these platforms and we will find ourselves in a tunnel with a rolling boulder. Just look at this tunnel. It's all yellow and there are buildings on the walls. This is very unusual because usually this tunnel is dark and without lighting. This guy didn't have time to run and was crushed by a boulder. Well. Probably because he's a noob, and we are professionals in this game. And now we need to go upstairs, and we will meet the boss of the Dog Day Night. Hello, my friend. I hope that you won't catch up with us, and we'll just calmly walk past you and go to the tower with dilapidated steps. We ran past it, and now we are heading up. Now we have a test ahead of us with energy drinks. And here comes vending. Cool. Let's press the button, drink an energy drink, and run along these yellow and red platforms. By the way, we are doing it in record time today. It's only been 190 seconds, and we're already halfway through the energy drink race. I think this indicates that today we will be able to set a new record in this game. I can already see the end of the race. The main thing is to take your time and do everything right. You'll get bluey. You are doing great. You made it. It seems to me that you are becoming the best in this challenge among all Roblox players. And now we need to move this ladder and jump into the ventilation using it. I really hope that we can do it the first time because this is the most boring building in this game. We managed to do it. Wow, we've never done this the first time. This is great. You can see how Bluey is progressing in this game. Let's now cross this bridge and before that, we move on to the next task. Last valve! Great! We did it and now we're going up! And now we'll move on to the fan race! I really like how the creators of this map worked with the boring design. Everything here is very interestingly colored. I really like the wall textures. It really does look a lot like a prison. We definitely need to play a game where we will escape from Smiling Critter's prison. I love Smiley Critters. 
and I would really like to go through a prison in which all the bosses will be like different characters. For now, let's go through the fan race. Is it just me, or did they increase the distance between the platforms? This made jumping a little harder. It's very strange that they made this task more difficult because we are now playing on easy difficulty. I think it's time for us to start playing Barry's Prison Break on hard difficulty. It seems to me that we have already reached that level of professionalism in this game when we can complete everything on hardcore. By the way, here's the boss doggy cook. I think we can defeat him pretty quickly. Now I need to take a bazooka and concentrate on hitting him right in the head. Because of the headshots, he takes a lot more damage, and this way I can complete this test much faster. You're right. Your hits cause him a lot of damage. The main thing is not to stop and shoot straight in the head. And don't forget that you need to stay at a safe distance from him. I think this was the fastest boss win in the entire history of Barry's prison escape. It seems to me that this Dog Day boss has very little health. And here is a task with lasers. Let's check if they have changed their color. No, unfortunately, these lasers remain red. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. The main thing is that we must now pass this test without dying even once. We don't have much time. Last laser left. Cool, I'm already at the very top. Well, only one task separates me from meeting the final boss. I must now be as concentrated as possible and use a life hack with which I can pass this test much faster. Be careful with bridges. They sometimes behave very unpredictably and can fly in a random direction. The main thing is to throw them straight down so that they do not fall into the abyss with spikes. Only one bridge left. Come on, Bluey, concentrate on this. Great, we did it, and now let's defeat the final boss dog day. I really hope that he won't lag and will try to at least somehow catch up with us. Oh no, seriously. Will he really stand in one place all this time? Oh my god, why can't map creators optimize the final bosses in their games? Is this so difficult? I've already shot off one of his hands. All that remains is to continue shooting at the second one in order to defeat him. This final boss also runs out of HP pretty quickly. We defeated him. This boss fight was pretty easy, like this whole map in principle. By the way, we completed this game in 540 seconds. Let's now move on to the next game. And here comes the final boss Elsa robot. Wait, don't tell me she's stuck in one place and won't move. By the way, just look how quickly Anna runs out of HP. Is this Elsa? I just can't believe it. It's Kristoff. Wow. Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will escape from Elsa Frozen's prison. What, Elsa? Seriously, this is my favorite cartoon of all. I just love Elsa. Guys, be sure to write in the comments your favorite character from the cartoon Frozen. My favorite character is Olaf. I also really love this cartoon. He is so kind and cool. By the way, have you noticed that the creators of this map really tried very hard and remade everything to fit the style of this cartoon. Yes! They even made icicles instead of spikes. Well, now we'll find out who will be the first boss. Is this Elsa? I just can't believe it. She really looks just like in the cartoon and she is now chasing us. Well, it's good that she's just as slow as all the bosses in Barry's prison break and will be able to escape from her pretty quickly. Great! We're already on the bridge. Well, now we will find ourselves in a room with toilets after we pass this obby. This obby looks familiar to me. We have already seen something similar in other maps. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, because they did a really great job on the design here. Everything here is the color of snow and ice. This is very similar to the style of the cartoon Frozen. Even now, instead of digging the ground, we dig up snow. It's really very similar to what we saw in the cartoon. Well, now let's go through this ice obby. It's very strange that there are bubbles here. It would be great if they replaced these bubbles with snowflakes. Judging by your voice, Bingo, you are very glad that we are playing this game today. Maybe we should have tried playing it earlier. Yes, I'm also surprised that we haven't played this game before. By the way, did you notice that they changed the huge rolling boulder? Now it's blue with red cracks. 
Now he will pass by us and we will look at him. Yes, he really looks unusual. I really like the way they remade it. I really like the way they redid this hallway. Now there is no boring black light here, but it is all covered in snow and it is very bright here. This is very cool. Who will become the boss knight in this game? It's Kristoff. Wow, I'm very surprised that they chose him as the boss knight. Well, now let's go to the tower with the dilapidated stairs. We need to go through it as quickly as possible and get to the very top to start the race with energy drinks. Here comes the energy drink vending machine. Just look how they changed this location. She's all covered in snow and all in blue. They also added some snow-covered trees here. It looks really very similar to the cartoon Frozen. Yes, I also really like the way they worked on the design of this level. I have never seen a snow theme anywhere in any of the modes in Barry Prison Break. Great! We are done with running with energy drinks. And now we need to climb the stairs, and now there will be our least favorite task in this game, namely installing the stairs. I really hope that we will be able to climb this ladder on the first try, because this task is really very long. Great! We climb to the top! Well, now we need to cross this bridge so that we don't get blown away by the fan. By the way, look at this! They replaced all the spikes with icicles! These icicles glow blue so cool! I like it very much. Here in this level, they changed the whole design very cool. They even repainted many of the platforms blue. I really feel like we're in Elsa's world. Now you need to quickly deal with these valves and go upstairs in order to move on to the task with the race with the fans. I wonder how they changed this task. They even changed the design of the ventilation. This looks very cool. Wow. Just look, there was a downed snow tree. It's good that we didn't crash into it. Otherwise, we would not have been able to go further. They also repainted the platforms blue. Well, this looks really very cool. There is also a snow tree here. Well, this is very cool. Now we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel. The main thing is to press the jump button in time. Great! I managed to do it. Now I need to go through this vent and we will see who will be the next chef boss. It's Anna. Wow! They made her the boss cook. Well, I think this is the best character to play this boss. It's a shame we won't see Olaf here. Dad loves this character very much, and he would really like to see him in this game. Maybe he will be the final boss here. I really hope so, too. By the way, just look how quickly Anna runs out of HP. We will deal with it very quickly. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Now, let's go down this slide. By the way, it is also decorated in the form of an ice slide. Now we need to pass two tests, and we will see who will be the final boss in this game. It would be really cool if we could get through this as soon as possible. We're moving fast enough. And here is the task with lasers. Too bad they didn't change the color of these lasers to blue, but I think there is nothing wrong with that. Let's just quickly climb to the very top of this wind tunnel and move on to the final task before the boss fight. Last lasers left. Well, we passed this task very easily. Now let's complete the task with bridges as quickly as possible with the help of our life hack. I think we can complete this task pretty quickly. The main thing is not to accidentally throw one of the bridges down. Otherwise, you will have to start completing this task from the very beginning and we will lose a lot of time on this. Great. We managed to do it all quite easily. All that remains is to put up the last bridge and we will cross this abyss and find ourselves in the location with the final boss. I really can't wait to see who the final boss will be in this mode. And here comes the final boss Elsa robot. Wait, don't tell me she's stuck in one place and won't move. Oh my God, it looks like it is. Well, okay, let's defeat this boss very quickly. It will be very easy because she doesn't even shoot. Oops, looks like I was wrong. Well, she only shot with one hand, and there is no way she can hit us because we are maintaining a safe distance. It was very easy. I really like this game because the design of the locations is very well done and everything is very cool. Now let's move on to the next game. I think Romeo's very happy that we defeated the final boss. I hope that this time he doesn't bug like he did last time. Seriously? Again? Oh no, he killed us. Hi, Greg. Hey, Greg. Why did you give up so quickly? <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. 
Today we will go through Pajama Mask's prison again. You liked our last video on this game so much that we decided to record a new video, but this time we are going to break our record for completing this map. Last time we completed this game in 603 seconds. Let's see how fast we can beat this game now. I really hope that this time we will get through it much faster. Bluey has been practicing the jailbreak maps quite a lot, so I think we'll definitely get through the game a lot faster this time. I also hope that I will be able to do this. We're playing on hard difficulty again, so it won't be that easy to complete this map. I think it won't be difficult for you at all. Just try to concentrate as much as possible on completing this game without dying even once. Hi, Greg. I hope this time you won't just run around this location in circles, but actually try to catch us. Look, he's finally running after us. I think we need to speed up a little so that he doesn't catch up with us. Well, that was pretty easy. Hey, Greg, why did you give up so quickly? He could have at least followed us up to the second floor. This is the laziest cop I've ever seen. It seems to me that this is only to our advantage. He didn't take up any extra time from us, and we can move on without him getting to us. Now we will find ourselves in a room with toilets. I don't think it's worth wasting time exploring toilet stalls. We have known for a long time that the tunnel is in the second booth. Have you noticed that there are some very strange particles flying around here? They look like toilets. It's quite strange. Maybe this is actually a sewer and not a dungeon? Do you even think about what you're talking about? Where does lava come from in the sewer? This is extremely illogical. Stop quarreling. We need to concentrate on setting a record in this game. We must complete it in less than 600 seconds. I agree with Bingo. We need to concentrate as much as possible on this game and go ahead to win and set a new record. You need to be as careful as possible in this corridor with a rolling boulder. Don't worry about it. Bluey is a real pro at this game. She has never died in this test yet. Yes, Mom is right. It seems to me that if I found myself in the same corridor in real life, I would definitely be able to pass it even with my eyes closed. Great, we passed this test. Now we need to go upstairs and there we will meet another boss. Just look! It's Night Ninja! He even appeared by jumping from the ceiling! This is really cool! Oh no, he killed us! Now we definitely won't be able to break the record. You will have to try very hard to make up for lost time. This guy stayed there and now we can move on. Now a tower with dilapidated steps awaits us. Well, let's get through it as soon as possible and move on to the energy drink race. By the way, this climb is also complicated by lasers that are located right on these steps. Well, we passed it, and now we need to climb to the very top. I'm looking forward to this race. This is my favorite part of this game. Let's get started. I hope I pass it the first time. I have never died on this test because I really like it, and I pass it like a professional. The distance between platforms has been increased here, which makes this level really challenging. But that doesn't make it any less interesting, because we're running very, very fast here. By the way, we are showing very good results. Only 244 seconds have passed and we are already approaching the ladder test. I think we will still be able to set a record this time. I just hate this ladder challenge. Also, this fat guy is disturbing us here. I really hope that he will remain behind us and we will be able to complete this game much faster than him. Well, now a task awaits us in which we will need to turn the valves. I really hope that we will be able to complete it fairly quickly because I don't want to linger on this difficult and tedious test at all. I really hope that the creators of all the new Barry Prison Escape maps will someday remove this challenge from the game because this is truly the most tedious task in the game. I really hope that it will never be added to new modes again. Yes, this task with the valves really bores me a lot. But here it is a little more complicated because here the distance between the platforms is also increased. And some platforms have been completely replaced. But nevertheless, this does not prevent me from passing this entire test the first time. We finally passed it. Great. Well, now we will go into this ventilation and then a race with fans awaits us. Here it is also quite heavy because there is also a very large increase in the distance between the platforms. However, this race with fans is very simple. But now we will climb these stairs and find ourselves right in the wind tunnel. Don't forget to press space, Bluey. I didn't doubt you for a second. And now Boss Chef is waiting for us, played here by Romeo. 
I hope that this time he doesn't bug like he did last time. Seriously? Again? Oh my god! I'm absolutely sure that the director of this prison needs to remove these tables from this cafeteria. This chef simply can't cope with moving around this cafeteria normally. Well, he returned to normal and we defeated him. Great! This was, again, the easiest boss we have ever completed because he constantly gets stuck in some textures. I think the creators of this map definitely need to work on optimizing this character. Colorful lasers again. I like this map just because of this. They really tried to paint them in different colors. It gives this game more color. But unfortunately, they removed the bridges in this test and now we just need to jump on platforms through lasers. Well, this makes our task much easier. And now we will meet the final boss, Olet. He moves quite strangely. Have you noticed that the animation of his movement is very jerky? Because of this, it seems as if he is moving towards us very quickly, but in fact, he can barely keep up with us. Try to hit him right in the head. I think this is his sore spot. There's no need to shoot off the boss's hands here. Wait, did we really kill him? I think Romeo's very happy that we defeated the final boss. Well, let's move on to the next game now. I was glad to return to this game again. Wait, what? Oh no, it's the eye monster. Oh no, looks like he caught up with us. Maybe the key will be behind this door? No, it's just a closet. Great, we escaped this monster and it didn't kill us. Oh no, it's the eye monster again. Oh. It Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Roblox Doors. Roblox Doors? I heard something about this game. I was told that this is the scariest game in Roblox. Guys, maybe we can stop playing this game before it's too late. I would hate to die of a heart attack today. Don't worry, Dad. She's not as scary as everyone says she is. Look, we now find ourselves in some hotel. I already know that we need to take the key to this door. Okay, now I'll take this key. I hope that no scary monster will jump out at me when I open this door. As you can see, no monster has appeared here. Okay, let's move on. Dark corridor at the very beginning. This already looks pretty creepy. The main thing is to remember the door numbers. I saw a video about this game on YouTube Shorts. If you enter the door with the wrong number, the monster from the wrong door may jump out at you. And it turns out you also know a lot about this game. Well, now we need to walk through these rooms and look for the key. I don't like these tasks so much because a spider can jump out of the drawer at you. After you said that, I didn't want to climb through those cabinets anymore. Well, I really hope that very soon I will find this key. Look at some blue glow. Oh, it seems to me that there must be a key in this drawer. Yes, watch it right here. Well, okay, let's now move to room number four. Are you still looting these boxes? Are you really not afraid that a spider might jump out at you? Well, okay, that's your business. I hope this doesn't happen and I don't get scared. Dad, stop being so timid. You're a man who should not be afraid of anything. Wait, did you see this? Is it just me, or did the light start flickering? I hear some sound. Great, we escaped this monster and it didn't kill us. Well, that was pretty scary. It's good that we managed to avoid it. Now let's move forward. We really need to find a flashlight or a lighter because next time he turns off all the lights, we just won't be able to go far. But I'm very afraid that some creepy monster might jump out of this cupboard. Therefore, we need to be as careful as possible. Perhaps some kind of lighter will be on top of the table. We are already entering room number 10. There are only 100 rooms here, right? This means that we have already reached 10% of this game. Well, this is very cool. I hope we can complete this entire game today. Well, room number 12. So far, nothing particularly scary is happening here. Oh, the light blinked again. We definitely need to hide in the closet now. We still haven't found a flashlight or a lighter. This means that he will now turn off our lights and we will make our way in complete darkness. Oh, look. He turned off the lights in only two rooms. This is very good. Some kind of descent. I hope there won't be any fake door below. I'm very afraid to make a mistake. Great! Room number 16. 
So far, everything is going pretty well. I really want to get to the first boss. Oh, this room is too dark. There is absolutely no light here. It's a pity that we don't have any flashlight. I'm quite scared to walk through such dark rooms. Great! We found a way out of here and there are lights everywhere. We need to look for the key again. I hope this doesn't take us as long as it did last time. This location is quite big. There are so many different rooms and closets in this room. Well, let's try to explore all the rooms here. Perhaps we will be able to find not only the key, but also some kind of light source. Unfortunately, we haven't found a flashlight or a lighter yet. Why do they hide them so hard? Looks like it will remain a mystery to us. Well, the key really is somewhere in an unknown place. I'm very tired of looking for him. Maybe the key will be behind this door? No, it's just a closet. Who even hides a closet in a separate room? Okay, I keep forgetting that this is Roblox and there is no logic in it. Well, let's continue our search. I'm really starting to think that this key simply doesn't exist. Oh, wait! Was it just me or was there some kind of blue glow in the corridor? Yes. Looks like we need to go to him. The key will definitely be in that door where the blue light comes from. And here is the key. Great! We'll finally move to room number 19. Was it just me, or when we opened this door, the light started blinking strangely again? Well, it looks like we need to look for shelter again. Urgently! Hide in the closet! This monster is already nearby! Great! We managed to avoid it again! Well, it's good that in this location there are huge windows through which at least a little light comes in. Otherwise, we would have to wander here again without any flashlight. The next room is also dark. Oh my god. I'm very scared to walk through these dark locations. It always seems like some creepy monster is going to jump out at you from around the corner. Need to quickly find a way out of here! Oh, here he is! Oh no! It's dark here too! I'm already very scared to walk through these constantly dark locations. Urgently need to look for some light source. There are no lighters or flashlights in this location either. Well, let's just move forward. Maybe we'll get lucky and finally find something here. It seems to me that we were unlucky again and again. We found nothing. Well, let's go to the next room and try our luck there. Maybe we can still find a flashlight somewhere? I really want to meet the first boss of this game. As far as I remember, this boss appears in room number 40. We are already entering room 27, and this means that very soon we will be able to meet him. Oh, this is a room in which you need to open the grate using a lever. Well, let's go down to the basement and look for this lever. It's good that there is lighting in this room, otherwise we would have been looking for this lever for a very, very long time. I would be very scared to go into the ventilation here because there might be some kind of monster in it. Wait, there's no lever here? Looks like we missed it. Let's go back and try to find him. Great! We found this lever. It was pretty easy. Now let's go back and go through the next door. I wonder what will happen behind this door. There was no flashlight in this table either. Wait, what? Oh no, it's the eye monster. We need to stand with our backs to him in order not to receive damage from him. We walked past it. Great, wait, was it just my imagination or did the light flicker a little here too? Maybe it was just my imagination. Let's go forward. Oh no, it's the eye monster again. He did some damage to us. Wait, I think I hear a monster running after us. Bluey, quickly turn around and look for the closet. Otherwise, they will catch up with us and kill us. What? Oh no, looks like he caught up with us. Okay, it was our first try. This game is really very scary and very difficult, but I liked playing it. Let's try to play it again next time, and now we'll move on to the next game. Is this the same doll? God, how <laughs> creepy she is. Looks like we're really going to have to make our way through this little dollhouse. When I look at these cakes, I really want to eat something sweet. Dad, have you decided to lose a little extra weight? I also think that you need to play sports. Your belly is growing every day. Oh my god, just look. This is a doll sitting here. I think it's better not to approach her. What is this? This is the same doll. Hello everyone, friends. And today we will escape from a huge dollhouse. Wow, just look how big this location is. Do we really have to explore it completely? 
Looks like we're really going to have to make our way through this little dollhouse. Well, let's start our journey. It's very high here. I hope to jump down safely. Yes, we didn't take any damage. Great. Oh, wait. Is this candy? We need to collect ten candies in this game. This is our additional task. Let's go forward and see what awaits us ahead. I see another candy. Wow. We collect them pretty quickly. There are so many of these strange arrows here. It seems to me that they were created for some stupid people. It would be enough to draw just one so that we understand where we need to go. And yet Bluey still decided to go up to the second floor for some reason. There's nothing interesting there. I thought that I could find one of the ten candies there, but unfortunately it wasn't there. Well, now we're going downstairs, and we need to walk along this corridor with some strange green liquid on the floor. There's another descent ahead. It seems to me that it is very unsafe to jump into such unknown holes. We found ourselves in some huge location with all sorts of cakes, cutlery, mugs, and other tasty-looking nonsense. When I look at these cakes, I really want to eat something sweet. I think this game is too tempting when you're on a diet. Dad, have you decided to lose a little extra weight? This is very unlike you. Maybe you also started playing sports? Yes! I signed up for the gym and now I constantly do a set of strength exercises. I really want to get my body in shape for summer. Yes, I also think that you need to play sports. Your belly is growing every day and it looks funnier and funnier. Let's stop laughing at Dad. I really hope that success awaits him in his sports activities and we'd better now concentrate on completing this exciting map. I can't concentrate on this map because everything that surrounds us here looks very tasty. I constantly want to think about all kinds of sweet cakes and candies. And as luck would have it, the next location looks even more beautiful because donuts and lollipops have also been added there. Oh my god, this map looks delicious! In fact, the creators of this game tried very hard to create such a colorful and vibrant location. I really like the fact that in Roblox, you really come across such well-developed and detailed maps. This makes me want to play this game more and more. Yes, can you imagine how much effort was put into creating this particular location? Well, let's go through these candies now. Oh, look, one more candy. We have already collected as many as five candies. I hope we can collect them all. I wonder what we will get for collecting them. The last lollipop remains and... Great! We passed it! I wonder what awaits us in this house. Let's see. And here comes the doll's house. Oh my god. Just look. This is a doll sitting here. I think it's better not to approach her. Let's try to go up to the second floor and check. Maybe there's a new candy there. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything there. And let's now go to that hole. We need to walk past this doll very carefully so that it doesn't kill us. And so we are down. We found ourselves in some strange location. There are screens here, and it says that we can hide behind them. But who will we have to hide from? I think now we have to find out. But for now, let's take that candy that lies there. There's some shiny button here. Let's click on it. What is this? This is the same doll. Looks like I understand who we have to hide from now. Well, it seems to me that we need to find two more buttons in this location in order for the door at the end of this corridor to open. Let's start searching. I see the first button. Great. Just need to find one more. The main thing is not to fall into the clutches of this scary doll. Where is the last button? I don't quite understand where we need to look for her. I think she should be around this bend. Oh, look. Here she is. Great. We pressed all three buttons, and now we need to quickly run to the exit. She can't catch up with us. I see the exit door. Now we will finally escape from this doll and jump into the next hole. And here is the hole. These huge yellow arrows point to her. Next to this hole, there is another candy, and this is the seventh candy that we picked up in this game. I hope we didn't miss a single piece of candy while playing this game. Wow! There are three huge Ferris wheels here. The platforms below us are also spinning. Here, you need to be as careful as possible and jump at the right time so as not to fall down. This is one of the most difficult tasks in games where you have to escape that I have ever seen. Yes, I too have never seen a single task similar to this. One more candy, only two left to find. I really hope that we really didn't miss a single candy along the way and will be able to collect them all. This thing below is spinning too. 
I think this task is also very difficult because in addition to the fact that you have to walk on this spinning thing, some strange axes are constantly trying to knock you off it. Bluey handles this task quite well. No wonder she plays these games every day. She has already developed a really, really cool skill in completing escape maps. I think that we can even set a record for completing this game on this server. Swinging axes again. This time, the things that will prevent us from moving forward are spinning in the other direction. Well, it seems to me that this does not complicate the task much, and we should deal with it quite quickly, too. We now need to go forward through this very thin pipe. The main thing is not to accidentally press an extra button so as not to fall down. Great! It was pretty easy. I see another hole, and next to it lies another ninth candy. Well, all that remains is to find just one secret candy in this game. We jumped into another pipe and only two stages separate us from the finish. This is indicated on the progress bar at the top. Well, let's see what other tests this game has prepared for us. We need to go through these axes again. And now we find ourselves in a location where a lot of interior objects are levitating in the air. We need to jump on them to get to the end of this place. Well, this looks really quite interesting. Various sofas, paintings, and even a piano fly here. Wow! Oh, wait, is this the tenth candy? Great, we've collected them all. I wonder what we will get for being able to collect them. Now the main thing is to go through this location and never die. The finish line is already very close, and now we need to concentrate on passing this location very carefully. Well, there are only a few obstacles left. Great. We are already one step away from the finish line. I see a huge location through these bars. I think the final boss is waiting for us there. Is this the same doll? God, how <laughs> creepy she is. Look, they gave us weapons. It's a bazooka again, like in the game we played yesterday. Well, I think we can deal with it as quickly as we dealt with the final boss yesterday. I only have half HP left. Bluey, don't stop. Shoot her. We need to kill her as soon as possible so that she doesn't kill us. This boss is as easy as the one we passed yesterday. I think this was one of the easiest fight bosses in my life. Look, something is happening to her. Oh no, now this chandelier will fall on her. This guy saw us! Wait, did we really run away from this guy? He moves slower than a turtle. Circular saws again? Why are they added to every game where you need to escape from somewhere? Just look, here is the huge head of this bully. Is this some kind of bazooka? Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Escape from Bully School. Just look at this guy! He's so disgusting! He has acne all over his hands and face! He really looks very disgusting! I'm sure there's still a terrible smell of sweat coming from him. I hope we can beat him at the end of this game. Okay, we're starting. Just look how cool everything is decorated here. I really like the textures in this game. Everything is very yeah. detailed here. This guy saw us! He wants to catch up with us and beat us! Well, we need to run into the ventilation that this green arrow points to. Faster, Bluey! Jump in there and open that vent! Wait, did we really run away from this guy? He moves slower than a turtle! Well, that was pretty easy! Now let's move on! Look! There are some kind of abyss with spikes and books. We need to be very careful not to fall down. Why do these books even levitate in the air? I don't understand this a little, but okay. It looks really nice anyway. Now we need to go into the ventilation to get to the next location. Are those hands sticking out of the wall? I think these are the hands of that same school bully. Well, let's run away from him along these rulers and school lockers. In general, it's quite strange that these cabinets levitate in the air, but I'm already tired of repeating that this is Roblox and there is no logic in it. Don't you think flying giant pencils are strange? There's a lot of weird stuff here, but I think we shouldn't be surprised because this game is really very beautiful. We should just enjoy its beauty. Now, we need to climb the giant felt tip pen straight to the top. I wonder what awaits us right at the top. Just look at those books again and the hands that are trying to grab us. And there are also someone's eyes in the cabinets. It seems to me that these eyes are asking for help. Most likely, these are school children who were shoved into these lockers by that same school bully. 
Well, now we need to go into this ventilation, and we will find ourselves in another room. Look, there are pyramids made from school desks. We need to rearrange them so that we jump on top of them and climb over this fence that separates us from the ventilation that we need to climb into. Wow, this is really quite a unique assignment. Is it just me, or have we never encountered anything like this before in escape games? No. Something similar was definitely already in the game where we escaped from another school. But nevertheless, it is also quite interesting. Well, now we'll climb into this <clears throat> ventilation. Is this the school bully? But what was he doing here? He was most likely waiting for us. Okay, we pressed the button, and now we have escaped from him. Is it just me, or is this badass too slow? We constantly manage to escape from it, and we don't even put much effort into it. Have you even seen how small his legs are? It's very easy to escape from him. Now we need to jump on this eraser. Oh my God, we jump so high. This is very cool. We jump so high. It's amazing that the eraser helps us make such high jumps. Now we need to run up these platforms. I wonder what awaits us next. Circular saws again? Why are they added to every game where you need to escape from somewhere? In which school did you even see circular saws? It looks very strange. Well, we're going through this all pretty quickly. It's amazing that we've managed to never die yet. I thought this game would be much more difficult, at least the truth. Perhaps we never died just because I'm a pro in these games. This is definitely true, Bluey. You're really good at these games. I'm surprised how you managed to go through everything so quickly. Oh, we entered some kind of corridor. Just look. Here is the huge head of this bully. Well, don't be distracted by it and need to move on. This map is quite long and everything here is absolutely different from Barry's prison escape. Each task here is individual and not similar to the previous one. I really like it. I have never seen a task in any of the Roblox modes in which you had to fall on purpose. This is a very cool idea. And with this, they really diversified this game. But to be honest, I'm a little tired of these obbies. We constantly just jump on different platforms and that's it. I really want to see how the final boss fight works here. I hope that it won't be the same as in Barry's prison break when the boss just stands in one place and you endlessly shoot at him. I'm already quite tired of this. I hope we find out very soon because this game really lasts quite a long time. Oh, look, some kind of descent. I hear his voice. Oh, no, it's Bully. He's coming after us again. In this room, we need to press all four buttons in order to open the door and escape from him. Just press the last button. Be careful. Great. You managed to do it. Now we run into the toilet and escape from it. Look, there's some kind of mirror here. But why do we have such a strange reflection? We absolutely do not look like this nerd, so this mirror is deceiving us. Well, now we find ourselves in some kind of dungeon again. Look, there's a yellow stripe there. Is this a speed run? Yes, it looks like it is. Oh my god, they added a speed run here too. This is very cool. This is my favorite part of these modes. But why didn't they explain how we got this super speed in Barry Prison Escape? We drank an energy drink to get faster, but here we were just sped up by some kind of yellow streak. By the way, have you noticed that we are already at the penultimate stage of passing this map? On the progress bar above, we are listed at the penultimate stage before the finish. We need to speed up in order to get to the final boss as soon as possible. I hope that we can complete all the tasks as quickly as possible and defeat this guy. All we have to do is go through this corridor with basketballs and we will find ourselves at the exit from the school. I think the final boss is waiting for us right there near the exit. Well, I think our fight will be very interesting. Well, here comes the final battle. Wait, what is this weapon in our hand? Is this some kind of bazooka? Yes, just look. We shoot some strange yellow balls right at him. This gun is very fast firing. She does a lot of damage to him. This will be a very easy boss fight. We kill him very quickly. I think this is one of the easiest bosses in the entire history of Roblox. It really was the easiest game we've played in a while. Well, I really like the design of this game. There are a lot of beautiful textures and cool sounds here. I hope the developers will make more cool games like this. Now let's move on to the next game.